Okay guys, so for this video tutorial, we're going to be creating our server.js file. Now what this file will allow us to do is be able to send and receive data using socket.io. So I'm going to go to my sockets directory and create a new JavaScript file and name it server.js. And I'm going to just delete this comment. And since I already have the code copied, I'm going to simply just paste that right over here. Oh, that didn't work. Let me just go to my uh, paste history and just select that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so right over here, I'm requiring the packages that we have installed in the last video. So that's going to be socket.io express. And then this package over here, HTTPS, will allow us to use socket.io on an HTTPS connection. Okay, and I'm going to be showing you how to do that uh, later. And then we're going to require an HTTP connection, which is the connection we're going to be using for this video. And then a Winston logger that will allow us to log um, events and output it to the terminal. It's a little bit more intuitive than the console.log um, and provides options uh, such as color options and uh, timestamp. And then the first message we're going to be outputting to the terminal is just this simple message over here. And right over here, we're going to create an express app, assign it to the app variable. And then when we create a server, so we're using the HTTP um, package, the connection, and we're creating a server and we're passing in the app, the express app, and we want it to listen to port 3001. Now you guys can select any port you want it to listen to, um, but for this tutorial, I'm using port 3001, and you guys can do the same, so it'll still work. And then um, right over here, I, I created a function called emit new order, and we're gonna pass in the server, which is the HTTP server. And actually, we just, let me just change this to HTTP server as well, just to make things more clear. All right, so we're passing in the HTTP server that we created, and, um, <clears throat> and that's gonna be invoked right over here. And as you can see, this is where I'm passing in that HTTP server. Now, when this method is invoked, it's going to, the socket is gonna to listen to that HTTP server. And when there's a new connection, um, we're going to run this callback and this argument over here is um, where we, we're going to be able to use it to send data, uh, to emit data, and to receive data, which I'm going to be showing you later. Now, to test, to see if it's working, you're going to go to your terminal, okay, and you're going to initialize that server.js file. So you're going to first cd into the directory where your server.js file is located under. Okay, um, if it's in the top level directory, you just you know cd into the top level directory and run this following command. And that command is going to be um, node. Okay, and then server, and then you could just put .js. Okay, and that's going to initialize the server. Okay, and then you're going to get that uh, message that we entered over here and that's how you know that your that the server.js file has been configured properly now in the next video i'm going to be showing you how you will send your first um, event using php and we're going to be listening to that event on this callback